Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so and, much. Um, you know, what, what a, a great opportunity, I think, to be a part of this film. Yeah. Um, you know, A, to work with Deepa, B, to work with all of these guys, mm -hmm. and just to tell this story. Mm -hmm. were, were you even aware of any of this before you started? Uh, like a, the stuff. Yeah, the, the, the whole subject matter. <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of aware of it, but I did not know the extent of it. Yeah. Um, and what was amazing was like, you know, starting my research and going through the script and looking at these what seemed like sensational events, and then finding out that there's actually like a news event that corresponded to it that mm -hmm. she didn't always make it. Like basically, she didn't make it out of thin air. No. It 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 these things did happen versions or derivatives of it is wild yeah so. really wild like yeah. you know like let's yeah. i mean it's it, it's, it's happening indicative. in our country. Well, I was saying, and it's yeah. indicative of, of every race and culture and everything. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. has their, yeah. you know, their thing. But watching this, it's like, wow, you know, and the violence. Mm -hmm. That's very scary violent. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I saw it again last night, and I was like, wow, well, it's pretty violent. Yeah. 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 Um, so how did you, you know, once you got your script and you knew you were going to be, did you prepare in any way for it? Oh, uh, yeah, big time. I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Tell to. me what you did. Well, I mean, the first thing, because I'm not Sikh and I'm not Punjabi, so I literally had to immerse myself in that religion. And uh, I just want to say it's it's one of the great ones. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful, beautiful mystic. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's 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 lovely. Yeah. It's just awesome. And uh, so I, I, you know, I got myself there and then just doing a lot of research on Vancouver, the events. But at the end of the day, what you most important thing is that script, like going over and over and over and over and over again and getting all the given circumstances and and then really starting to realize who Nep is yes. and at the what I came with at the end was here's a guy who has like a million pounds on his shoulder and how do you how do you play that it's so true yeah yeah, yeah he really yeah. does he um, does was it was it a real challenge for you uh, yeah, yeah, it was, but I, I was, you know, blessed to have Deepa to kind of like really uh, uh, help me, and she demanded a lot of me in terms of prep, backstory. We had a workshop process prior uh, for like a week where we were doing these like ancient Indian theatrical exercises, and it, it, but what happened was when we finally got to set and it was like action, it was... Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell me, you know, aside from the uh, Deepa, I mean, she's, I've been interv you know interviewing her since day one. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and she's just such an amazing woman. Yeah, uh, does everything. You know, but yeah. so kind and calm and just knows though what she wants. You she know? knows what she wants. Yeah. Yes. So what you know? But well, she's uh, also comfortable to change her mind, which sure. is really amazing. She'll just like change her mind, like. We have this scene where, you know, it's in the aquarium and it's mm -hmm. beautiful beluga whales and it's like stunning, it's breathtakingly yeah. shot. Uh, but for the longest time that scene was in a bus. And, and two days prior to shooting the quote unquote bus scene, or we were doing Vancouver, we were going to do the Sky Train. Yeah. Two days prior to that, she's like, we're doing it in an aquarium. And I was like, all right. And that wasn't the first time this kind of thing happened, but yeah. Very interesting yeah, for yeah. a director who, um, I think, you know, or whatever, just you're all set, you know what your shots are, you know how much time you have, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, we're changing it. Yeah, like, that's but that's cool. a sign of an artist. Yeah. Because, you know, like it's the best artists I've, I've seen have like deep conviction for an idea, yeah. but they have even, even deeper conviction when they throw that previous idea away yeah. for a better one. Yeah. Best idea always wins. Uh, uh, for sure, always. for sure. I, actually, I love, you know, now that, you, now that you're pointing it out again, I love that scene in the Ukraine. It, it it's stunning. Beautiful. It's like, who cares what we're doing? <laughs> you're watching those whales. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, blah, 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 blah. Tourists in Vancouver, yeah, come yeah, to yeah. our I know, I know, I know. No, it was, it, you're right, yeah, actually. Yeah. You wouldn't think yeah. about it until yeah. you told me that story. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, tell me about, let, well, let's start, start with Randeep, because, of course, you have most of your scenes with mm -hmm, him. And, mm -hmm. just, and just working with him, and, and what impressed you about him? Yeah, I've been, you know, um, very impressed with Randeep, uh, like, as an actor. And it's kind of interesting. Our, our relationship mirrors very much, um, uh, like, Nep and Jeet is very much like Randeep and I. You know, we both come from two different worlds. Like, he showed up from Bollywood, and, yeah. and, and I'm, like, this actor, kind of this young upstart who's, like, that's just done a lot of, like, theater, who's, like, known in that kind of, like, acting realm and getting his first big kind of feature. So I think both of us were kind of just, like, sizing each other up and trying to understand each other. And um, But by the end of it, I think we both come, you know, last night we hugged each other after, after the premiere, and it, it, you could tell it was, like, a mutual respect for each other's art. Yeah, and um, is it intimidating to you at all to be working with such a huge Bollywood star? I mean, this guy is big deal. <laughs> I, it never intimidates me yeah. because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. That's and at the end of the day, 
any one of us today, tomorrow can become Jake Gyllenhaal. Even though Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> I, it's true. And I've, I have so many of my friends that I've grown up with that are now doing huge things. Yeah. And, you know, it's, we're all human beings at the Absolutely. end of the day. Yeah, I don't know, 100% <laughs> it, I say yeah, that all the time. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah you're, yeah. you're not curing cancer here. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. It's I mean, so true. Yeah. And the second you start to think otherwise, A, I think you stop being an artist because you stop being in touch with humanity. Yeah. And uh, B, you're just a, a loser. <laughs> good, good on you, good yeah, on yeah, you, yeah. I'd like to hear yeah, that. Yeah. Um, all right, and now, you know, working with, the, well, the rest of the Biba boys. I mean, seriously, wow. A lot of fun, Yeah. a lot of fun, a lot of just like laughing. And we still have like a iMessage group that we keep up and <laughs> it's just nothing but jokes and usually it's insults about each other, so. Well, that's good. See, <laughs> that's, that's how you know, that's how you know. Humble, right? Yeah. yeah, that's how you know you actually like the person when you make fun of them, <laughs> you know. And tell me about, and even just having someone like Waris on set, wow, I mean, that guy is like so cool. Yeah, me and Waris, you know, we, it's, it's a shame because the past two days, he had to head back to New York, but the past two days we were doing a, um, a press together. So it was kind of like, you know, <laughs> Abbott and Costello, him and I. Yeah. And it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. he's very, very yeah. cool. And, and, you know, I got dress to, as I, well, too. I gotta talk about the, um, are we okay? Do you want me to grab that? Yeah, no, no, go ahead. It must yeah. be loose. Yeah. Oh, let's Sorry, I'll just like, yeah, yeah, no worries. It's like, oh, we're getting flashing lights. Is there like an ambulance going on? That's not great. Let's just pull it all together. Are you okay though? Yeah. Sorry about that. Not no worries. Stuff happens. Yeah, sorry. Ghost in the room. Okay, continue. All right. Um, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, let's talk about the clothes. Yeah. These guys. Oh yeah. Whoa. I mean, I was yeah. talking to Deepa yesterday, and I said, "Oh my God, they're beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm, clothes." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like, yeah. Be a little jealous. I mean, you didn't get you had you had some, but I, what's to say I didn't take some yeah. of them? Yeah. What's to say I didn't wear some of them last night? What's to say I maybe I'm not wearing any of them now? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I've, the clothes were amazing. Phenomenal. Amazing. Yeah, it totally changed my sense of style. Like, I'm not wearing any socks right now either. Okay, I want to talk about that. Yeah. Because I, that's the one thing I noticed. And I was I, actually, I was looking. These guys, you know, you, these guys get dressed up. Gorgeous, gorgeous outfits. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. doesn't even, does it matter if it's winter? Like, do this, is there still no socks? The most important thing is this. I mean, I, I think Deepa probably answered this way. I don't know. But um, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, that style, it, it comes from the character. Yes. Because it's it's what is it? The objective is you know if you want to be seen, you got to commit to being seen. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to be seen? You, you you're going to dress impeccably. You're going to dress uniquely. And also, it's one thing if one guy shows up with a colored suit and no socks. It's like no, that's oh that's cool, yeah. But when a whole bunch of them show up, it's a statement. It's, it's a an absolute statement. It looks yeah, so good. Yeah, 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 wow, yeah, really, yeah, it just yeah. really does stand. And it was done a year ago. Now people aren't wearing socks and they're rolling up their pants. So you know, if it doesn't work out for Deepa as a director, she could always be a stylist. I said that to her, yeah. and because she was telling me about where they where the suits came from. That from India, she you know mm -hmm. instead of sp spending three grand or whatever on a suit, mm -hmm. she had them made for two hundred. And I said, Deepa, you got a new career. Here. I know. Like, you could be selling. You could have a line of Biba Boy suits. I know. Yeah. No yeah, question. Yeah. 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 Biba Boy should have a line. I, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. get get on her on that, you know, and then then, then create a. <laughs> Can you imagine just a bunch too? of guys walking around in color suits and you're like, damn. <laughs> and no socks. No and socks. No so yeah. And you should kick it off in January. You yeah. Know, in absolutely. the dead of winter here. Absolutely. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. I don't okay. Know. I think we should get on that. Yeah. Um, when did you know you wanted to act? Uh, I had I had an amazing drama teacher uh, in high school. I mean, I always knew I wanted to kind of like I love performing, you know. But I I, I had a um, in grade nine. Uh, there was a karaoke day and I was singing a, a song to impress a girl. Uh, I didn't get the girl, but I, I, my drama teacher stopped me in the halls and he's like, you, you come here. And uh, he, he put me in the musical and I just like, just fell in love with it. And that's, you know, when you know, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and But I'm indebted to him because, you know, well, who yeah, knows? Exactly. But that you might have gotten the girl and then what, right? I would have been miserable. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> no, that, you yeah. never know, especially like in grade nine. <laughs> Yeah, she was, she, was, she was in like back then we had OEC, so she was in like grade 13 at that time, so yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, my yeah, friend. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm could've, happy now. I'm very in love and happy, so it's all good. Good, yeah, good. Yeah, I was saying yeah, it could have been yeah. a complete different yeah. path yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, so what's next? Uh, what's next? First of all, we're like promoting this, yes. the hell out of this movie. You know, we're going, to, we're going to Sudbury, we're going to London, England, we're going to Havana, we're yeah. going like, we're going all, all over the place. So I'm, I'm going to be hopefully uh, doing that promotion. And then I literally have the year lined up with stage work. Oh. For you, yeah, which is kind of like uh, I have, I have, yeah, I have a, a play for the Mervishes coming at the Panasonic Theater. Which one? It's called Disgrace. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah the Pulitzer Prize winning play. So oh. we're doing that, and uh, I, got, I got, I'm premiering a Judith Thompson, brand new Judith Thompson play. Nice. Uh, just you know, churning, churning, churning away, and Do you hoping. Do theater? 
to be honest, I prefer I prefer theater and probably I say film, like mm -hmm. something like this, because they both allow you to like create a character from the beginning to end, and there's an end. Yeah. You know, whereas a TV series, you go on for like. You don't know. <sighs> yeah, it goes on. You don't you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, but there is one amazing advantage to to movies is that you don't got to repeat it. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta do like a hundred, like I, I was doing uh, um, Claudio and Much Ado About Nothing, and Claudio is like the precursor to Romeo, like it's just manic emotion. I'll tell you, there were times where it was like the sh before the play would start, I'd be like, Whew. all right. Here we go. Here we go. Whereas I had those moments with, with, with uh, Nep, you know, there's a moment in, in my apartment after a big incident happens and I'm on the phone with uh, Choti, and yeah. uh, I knew that that, that scene was coming. Yeah. But I just just want, I just had to do it once. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine I had to do it like every no, day? No. No. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Well, you, well, you did an incredible job. Thank really. you so Honestly, much. Honestly, I loved watching you in this movie. And, Thank you. Uh, it's it's really a superb film. So Thank you. Congratulations Thank to you. you, and uh, best of luck with everything. Thank we'll you see so you much. on stage for yeah. sure.